Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ali, I'm in love with you. What? So what? So plenty. I love you, you belong to me. No, people don't belong to people. Of course they do. I'm not gonna let anyone put me in a cage. I don't want to put you in a cage, I want to love you. It is loud AF out here, like AF. Got myself a little drink. It's cantaloupe and ginger. So, I'm filming my assumptions video, finally. I'm currently in Florida, so I'm outside on the patio. It's super hot. Just did this on my Instagram story, asking people like their assumptions about me, because I saw like so many videos about it, and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> so I decided to film my own, because why not? So yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is um, kind hearted. Um, oh my god. The first one is kind hearted. I feel like I would say I'm kind hearted. Like I'm not I don't really have ever have malicious intent for anyone just because why waste like energy on negative things, you know what I mean? Um, the other one is hi. <laughs> Hello, natural model from the walk to the physique. Um, thank you, first of all. I have always wanted to model. I just like don't really know how to get into it really. Um, like it's just a dream of mine. I haven't really like fully tried to pursue it like with all of my ability. So I can't really like say, but thank you. I, I think that's a really amazing compliment. Um, everything given to her, she got money. I wouldn't say everything is given to me. That's it from Snapchat. So I'm going to Instagram. Too expensive, you know that. <laughs> I mean, I do, like, who doesn't like nice things? Quality over quantity. Like, I'd ha rather have, like, one really nice thing than, like, ten, like, subpar. Feel me? You have amazing style. Thank you. I would like to think that. I just like th trying new things. This plant is being so disrespectful. Stop it. But thank you. I'm always looking to evolve like style. I feel like you should never stay in one type of look for too long. Um, you're mad bubbly and energetic, but only around people that match your energy. Well, it says energ. <laughs> I'm gonna assume they meant energy. I, yeah, I completely agree with that. Um, you only date white guys. You are very possessive. I'm gonna agree. I say yes. You're scared of doing this video. Um, honestly, I was really scared of even posting it. I thought you were American, and when I found out you were Jamaican, I was effing shook, shocked. Yeah, I was born and raised in Jamaica. I moved here when I was seven or eight. Why were you shocked? I mean, I guess it's because I don't have an accent. Really only speak Patois around my family. I hate when people ask me, oh, oh um, can you speak Jamaican? Like, shut up. Um, you're a model low-key. I am not a model low-key. I just like taking pictures. I wish I was a model. I would love to dabble in that. Like, I would never turn down that opportunity if it presents itself. Um, I feel like you see yourself as mean, but you're not. You beat yourself up a lot about that. Um, I wouldn't say I'm mean. You're definitely daddy's little girl. Always will be. Um, 100% am. <laughs> you are an only child. No, I consider my little cousin my sister and I have like a brother, two brothers. So yeah, no, I'm not an only child. You have a bomb ass body. Thank you so much, that's very subjective, but I am confident in how I look. So I, I guess I'll agree with that since it's an assumption. <laughs> you give off bitchy vibes, but in a good way, meaning you don't take shit, but you're nice, question mark. I feel like that's very accurate. If you do know me, you know that I'm not actually like, I'm, I'm a softie. You would never shop at Walmart. No. Other than Walmart being a toxic ass corporation, uh, <laughs> like for groceries, yeah, but like if you're saying shop as in for clothes, I'm not above shopping at Walmart. If I'm gonna go to like a grocery store to shop, I'm going to Target. Target has fire clothes. I don't care what anybody says. You're not from here, you're like different. Are you exotic? Um, I am born in Jamaica, I guess. That makes me exotic, I don't know. <laughs> Does it? I don't know. I, I, I guess. 
I'm your mad shy. There's parts of my life where I would describe myself as shy. I could come across as shy because I wouldn't really talk because like I don't really know you so like I'm not gonna like give you a hundred percent. Yeah, I just don't give everyone my hundred percent before I figure out the type of person they are. And I could figure that out before we even get close. Like I'll just see how you interact with other people around someone new like me or like see how you interact like in situations and then I'll, I'll know how you move based off of that. Your page has such great photos, just wanted to let you know that. Thank you so much, it's so nice. That you're very well organized, that you're a neat person, that you're smart. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm well organized in certain aspects of my life. Like when it comes to school, when it comes to like my work, when it comes to like how I present myself, like that, yes. But my room, like if you see my room, crazy. It's always messy. But I, like I'm the type of person when I'm getting ready, I just be, I need to find that exact top because I know it'll look good with this. And if I don't, then I'm gonna have to revamp the whole outfit. So whenever I'm getting ready, everything goes everywhere. And then I have to find the jewelry that goes well with it. So yeah. <laughs> um, I just got a heart. Okay, thank you for the heart off topic but I love your page thank you so much I really don't think it's that great yet but thank you you're very cool little bro first of all I don't know how my brother found my Instagram I didn't even see this one until now but hi hi Jaimin I love your feed thank you sis is very protective of those close to her yes like I it's okay before like when I talked about how I suss out people in situations like I'll literally be able to spot what's gonna happen before it happens because I know like that type of person like how they're gonna move in a situation so like I'll be very protective of my friends in that circumstance because it's like I knew you were gonna move funny once upon a time not long ago you was a hoe I would never describe myself as that honestly ever I mean like I don't really like it's a derogative term but I would never ever be offended by it because I know myself and I know that I'm not, so. Um, that you're rude slash snobby. Um, I can understand that, but I don't think that I am. I'm not with like the oversensitive type of like vibe, I guess, which is fine like if you are, but I like making jokes and I like being funny and obviously there's a line that you shouldn't cross, but I feel like it's never that serious. Whenever I make a joke, like some people will take it like like I'm being dead ass. So yeah. I thought you were really nice, down to earth type of person and you you turned out to be. Um, thank you, that's so nice. And I got no ass. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't think I have one, honestly, but other people seem to think that I do. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. Didn't think you liked me. Again, I don't give everyone my 100% when I first meet them. I'm not gonna tell you like my life story. More, A lot of people are more forthcoming than I am and I guess that could be misconstrued as like, oh, she doesn't like me, I guess. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, your wifey material, a thousand percent. I don't really know what that means, but thank you. Bougie? Uh, I guess. I mean, I would... I would agree. I just like the finer things in life. Been in pageants or done some type of modeling growing up? I've never been in pageants. A lot of people have asked me that or thought that. Um, I did a lot of like fashion shows at like during college. So maybe that's why. Um, you're a chicken. This was definitely Andy. Yes, I am a chicken. Growing up, I had to deal with a lot of fake people. No, like genuinely know who to surround myself with. And I wouldn't say I had to deal with a lot of fake people at all because I just distanced myself before it even got to like me having to deal with it. You big chop your hair and let it grow. I did, oh my gosh. The best decision I have ever made. Like if you're considering doing a big chop, I 100% recommend it. Like I know short hair, like not a lot of people know how to deal with it. Like neither did I, but honestly, like it brought me on a journey. Like I was already confident and I thought that I was, 
but I put a lot of my beauty in my hair and when I cut it off I really had to like relearn myself and like re like redefine my own beauty I guess so if you're ready for a journey like that I highly recommend it I feel like just get rid of it like once you get rid of the toxicity like everything just prospers after that and my hair surely did because it got so long so fast you're cute AF thank you <laughs> I don't know you but by the looks of it you look like a fashionista thank you so much that's so nice I definitely got all my fashion sense from my mom I, I think that was the last one Yes, I went through all of it. Thank you for staying with me <laughs> and watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed.